Bunny the dog is my very best friend. Do you know why? Why? Because with him, anything is possible. Way! Ooh, no. Sorry, Dribbles. Did you hear about the Scarecrow who lost a fight? He got the stuff in, kicked out of him. Way! Oh, you're all such good friends. I've had a wonderful time, but I have to go. Oh, oh well, if you insist. <gasps> How about a magic trick? But first, I need a volunteer with nerves of steel and the heart of a lion. Who will it be? Who? The hair on the back of your neck raises as a shiver passes through you. You, my special assistant. Come on up. A round of applause for the stalwart heart! <laughs> now, I always tell children that they're special, that each and every one of them is unique. Tell me. What makes you special? Wow! You hear that, folks? It could turn into a little rabbit. Maybe a kitty cat. No! <laughs> That's not what makes you special. You, my friend, are the most special person in the circus, in all of Boulder's Gate. Does anyone know why? You're special, my friend, because I have a message just for you. Praise the Absolute. You sense something behind you. Instinct takes over. So eager to please. Very this well. part of the show. Praise the Absolute.
turn someone inside out. Looking ahead. Another doppelganger. At least we didn't kill a real clown in front of an audience. I need a quick word. You fight good. Doppelganger, not so good. <laughs> someone. My kills, my prey, you took them! Run! I'll find you! Eat you! Coward! I have something to ask. Oh dear, screaming children and oozing corpse and it's not even my birthday. I thought the Absolute wouldn't dare set foot in my circus. To use such a woeful dribbles impersonator, why, it's downright rude. As much as I love a good murder, my customers don't. The real dribbles charms animals and makes puns. Awful puns, not this. Alas, I cannot afford to lose any more staff. Funerals are so very expensive. I need to move the circus, but I cannot leave just yet. Not without dribbles. He was a star. Customers of every color and creed simply adored him. I need him back, and I'll shower the person who finds him in love, adoration, and adequate compensation. What do you say? Huh. I can respect that. And you're in luck, because I am old, darling. Ancient. I have seen stars explode and civilizations fall. Along the way, I happened across items of such power that would make you weep with awe. Find my dribbles. You won't be disappointed. Even better! Corpses are wonderful employees. They aren't picky about things like working from home or eating. That's the spirit, darling. And remember, I look after those who make me happy. Hmm? Good luck, and thanks ever so much. Circus, which will never be the same without dribbles. How could this happen to dribbles? To my home? Can't believe we had to rely on a stranger to save us. No offense. Oh, how could Madame Lucretius let this happen? And what are you doing here? Out!
I heard what you did about dribbles. He is, was a good egg. Thank you for making sure no one else got hurt. If you're hungry, you can wait with us. Watch your step inside. <laughs> May all mates that guide your footfall, stranger. Times may be hard, but the God. Go talk to the investigator. The sooner we clear Brilgar's name, the better. It's certainly good to be back at camp. How I've missed the smells. Indeed. And I'm sure Dringo will do a great job. He always took good care of me. Orin toys with us where she could destroy us. Whatever her motivations. I hope she reveals them quickly. Really there now. See the city. Team, see Up investment to get me started. I see it. It's up there and we're down here. Turn back, citizen. No passage in this direction. It's bloodier than a butcher's backyard out there. Piles of dead absolutists, and a few of our own as well. The cultists assaulted the gate, armed to the teeth trying to break in. They nearly had it too, before the steel watch intervened. <laughs> a little more than that. You'll see for yourself soon enough if you head to the city. Oh, yes. The Paramidias and Fred are clean. Can I come on patrol with you later? Not a chance. In my way. Are you all right? This is front page material. Ah, are you trying to get into the city? Got a minute to tell me about your experience at the gate today?
I'm Lens, roving reporter for the Boulder's Mouth Gazette. My editor sent me to cover the drama out here at the gate. He wants some fluff piece about the heroic steel watch keeping the mob at bay, whether or not that's the truth or not. If you read the Baldur's Mouth Gazette, it's an opinion you'll never hear. Lord Gortash makes sure of that. My editor, Mr. Needle, was a brilliant journalist. But recently, well, now he's got friends in high places, he seems more interested in keeping them happy. Seems like everything we write needs Gortash's approval. Can't recognize my own work by the time they're done editing. Oh, they know some of it. Most would rather bury their heads in the sand anyway. Saves them the bother of feeling responsible. I'll try and get the truth across. Who knows, maybe a line or two will meet Mr. Needle's approval. I won't be holding my breath. Sorry, can't talk. I'm on a deadline. That'll make a great headline. The boss is expecting you. Hasn't forgotten what you did for him at Moonrise. Look, unless you're an expert in steel watcher gyroscopics, please get out of my life. Shaking, quaking. Don't you feel it? There's something underneath the city, inside the rock. But when I ask the stone why it shakes, it only screams. I want to go home. There you are. Good. We need to strategize. Wolbrin is planning something. Lots of moving parts. Uh, I'm still trying to suss the details myself. I am. I knew him rash, but this is... Be uh, firm with Wolbrin. But not too firm. Let him have his say, but don't let him talk over you. Got it? Mm, good. Good to see you. Wasn't sure you'd make it to the city. Regretting it yet? I spent a lot of time thinking of worst-case scenarios while I was locked in that cell you plucked me out of at Moonrise. I didn't imagine anything as bad as this. The Gondians have handed Enver Gortash the means to bring about the end of liberty in Baldur's Gate. And the citizens have rolled out the red carpet for the new tyrant. Resistance fighters are few and far between. My iron hands, what's left of the Harpers, and you. I hope. As long as our objective is the same, the reason doesn't matter to me. We have a common enemy. But neither of us gets what we want until we deal with our biggest obstacle. The Steel Watch. They're a threat to you, me, and every man, woman, and child in this city. They act all civilized, 
servants of the people, but they only serve one man. When he becomes Grand Duke, it will only get worse. Laws will change, freedoms will vanish, and soon you'll be accused and sentenced before you've even committed a crime. And the fucking Gondians are to blame for all of it. A tyrant's nothing without lackeys. And the Gondians are the perfect lackeys. Dangerously intelligent, pathetically submissive. They invented the Steel Watchers, and they're building an army of them. They've always been happy to provide their technology to despots in exchange for a stipend and the freedom to work in peace. They would have licked Saravok's boots, given the chance. And now they'll kiss Gortash's ring while this city screams. I had a plan to put a stop to them. But the way things are now, if we stick our heads above ground, the Watchers are on us like flies on shit. Neither was Moonrise. And look how that turned out. You have a knack for passing among these bastards as if you were one of them. Same as it always is. Eliminate the threat. In this case, the foundry where these atrocities are produced. The Gondians are ingenious, but we're more than equal to them. There's nothing they can build that the Iron Hands can't tear down. I've built something unique for just that purpose. A room powder bomb. First of its kind. Fifty wizards high on the weave couldn't summon this kind of firepower. Get the bomb inside the Gondian facility, and boom. Problem solved. Walbrin, please. This is too far. Everyone in the foundry would be killed. Quiet, Barkus. The adults are talking. It's liberation. The Gondians picked their side the minute they took orders from Gortash. If they had any courage, they'd have refused him and died like heroes, spitting in his face. Now they'll die like the dogs they are. There is no other way. But I believe in second chances. When you come crawling back here, and you will, we can talk. A rune powder bomb? Huh. What the devil has he become? You'll hear no argument on that score. But using rune powder on the Gondians? They are inventors, just like us. The snickety and self-important, too. But we all have our moments. Something is wrong. Very wrong. You did well refusing Wilbrin's proposition, but I fear he'll find some fool who'll plant his bomb. The Gondians deserve a chance to plead their case before being blown to pieces. Please, find out what's going on. That's all I ask. Questions first, violence later. And only if absolutely necessary. So, are you with me? Ready to take down the Steel Watch? I knew you were the practical sort. That's why we get along. The foundry is in the lower city, down by the docks. Beautiful building, belching smoke into the sky day and night. Getting inside won't be easy, but when you do, place the bomb at the heart of the facility. Get yourself back to street level. 
The streets will be clear of watchers in no time. Gondians respond well to reason. So when you meet them, be reasonable. Here goes nothing. Morton. You think I want my clan facing down one of those walking death machines with cutlery? Then leave me to my work. Only if you're quick. Let me get... Two days just to get hold of a still watcher optic module. And for what? Waste of time we don't have. Corpse regards you lifelessly. Pushed, felt bones break, darkness. None. Brothers died on the road. Man tried to buy. Man, buying heirlooms, vulture, challenged him. East, fled armies, lost everything. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. No traps, please. this petty. Let's have a look.
go. There's a trail. Is someone there? Feel them. Tell the others. Let the boss know. This man is not long for this world. It's too late. This man is far beyond anyone's help. You hear the blood gurgle in his struggling lungs. His last ounce of strength is spent. at Moonrise Towers, if I'm not mistaken. Looks like those two are about to fight. I'll snip. Nobody messes with the Stone Lord, Rattling. Nine Fingers sent her love, asshole. Your Stone Lord's a dead man walking. You, help me kill these asses. The guild will sprinkle you with gold. In Baldur's Gate. <laughs> Nobody's leaving this place alive, cock.
the guild of Sanctity! Stone Lord. ranks. Moving. Let's move. Let's go with 
fire, baby. Tactical. Still breathing. These boots have seen everything. to be alive. Ah. Got it. At least things have stayed interesting. More for me. Nice. Here goes. Have a lot on my mind and, well, in it. Best be on my way. Now I'll give it a shot.
city. You're going Up on to the hire hill. all the refugees. Yeah. Just like that. Serenely. A handful. Cleaning, cooking. Cl what do you get out of this? Is very particular. Well, it's the right thing to do. Sir. Remind them that this is our city. Are we fixed on some don't take kindly to parasites. I just told you. see this sign, that means you are too close to Gildro Angleiron. His work must not be interrupted. Never thought I'd feel sorry for a flock of pigeons. Back again? Oh, yay! Want more? Um, hi. It's me, Yenna. You remember me, right? You were really nice to me before, and, um... My mum hasn't come back yet. She might come later. I don't think she's coming. Could we maybe stay here? Absolutely not. We've hit our quota for mangy strays. Yes! You've got a fire and everything. I can cook really good. Whatever you want. Thank you, thank you. Come to bask in the glow of the Moon Maiden's sword? Be most welcome. Come to bask in the glow of the Moon Maiden's sword? Our thoughts are as one, my friend. You must face the Chosen of Bane and Baal. I will do my part to see them laid low. Orpheus with my own eyes. Spoken to Shestil Kithrak Vos. You lied to us. Enslaved us. The betrayer Vos lies! I have only a moment, and you, Hasharlak, will listen. We are Githyanki. We move mountains. We snuff out stars. We shake the plains. The traitor Voss has lied to you. The heretic prince would shatter us in an instant. The great Dominion shrunk to the head of a pin. Can this be true? Is the Githyanki prince really a threat to his own people? Or simply a challenge to Vlakith's rule? Return to the Astral Prism. Slay Orpheus the Pretender. Serve me, and I will ascend you. You will be no mere warrior, nor Kithrak. You will be Barta Vlakith, commander of dragons. My only, my chosen. 
A final chance. Kneel before me. Make your promise. Lazar's thoughts become yours. The sight of Orpheus looms over her mind. Voss's words echo within it. She means to forever turn her back on Vlacket. I gave you my faith, and you called me traitor. I gave you my life, and you ordered your knights to hunt me. I have witnessed too much, and you have given me too little. Finally, I can see. Orpheus will live, and I will hear his creed. This is my word. Your word is nothing. You are nothing. The Kithraki will bring you. I will tear your flesh from your bones and devour your skull's marrow while you beg for death. I will consume you. I will unmake you. Feeling better. It is done. There is no going back. As long as the Undying Queen reigns, I am never to soar unbound over the Astral Sea, never to cross the One in the Void. As it should be. Better a short life built on truth than immortality woven of lies. Better to unite the Githyanki under a prince who would free their minds and honor their bodies. So why do I feel so bitter? Loss. It permeates every corner of Lazelle's mind. Everything she knew to be true, every plan and aspiration she ever held has been painfully ripped away. Lazelle's bitterness is born of sadness. She is mourning the loss of the person she once was and can never be again. How well you've come to know me. But in truth, she didn't take everything. I have what I have gathered for myself. I'm more to a new regent, a new land, and new allies. Vlaketh cannot unmake she who no longer exists. And so, from the old battle cries is birthed another. Tmar Salar Orpheus must still now forge an Inyeri. Orpheus's will above all. May the comet blaze my path forward. Orpheus' freedom is my want and my need. To deny his freedom would be to deny my own. There will come a time when I can think about myself beyond the Lich Queen who enslaves the Githyanki and the Prince who would liberate them. But that time won't come until the Prince of the Comet flies again. Vlaketh's left hand and her right Commander of all dragons, chosen of the Queen Regent. Not since Vlaketh won has a Bart to Vlaketh been anointed. <sighs> Another empty promise. Only a naive fool would believe otherwise. The kind of fool I was not so long ago. We find Voss at Charesse's caress and retrieve the key to releasing the Prince. Orpheus Tufki Narsin.
I hope you're here to discuss that contract you just signed. Agreeing to give away our greatest hope of salvation wasn't the wisest of moves. I'm glad to hear it. But you realize we can't just tell him we changed our minds. I promise you, whatever outcomes we're hoping for in this world-ending endeavor of ours, letting that devil get hold of the crown must not be one of them. No. What we should be pursuing is knowledge. We need to learn more about that crown. We should pay a visit to Sorcerer's Sundries. Their book collection is the envy of the Sword Coast. I'm certain the truth lurks somewhere on their shelves. The only kind... Ha! Zach, you'll have to forget. How did you? Oh, it's you. I must have let my mind wander. Enough for you to wander in. Forgive me. I am drained. Ever since you killed Ketherick and took his Netherstone, the Chosen's control of the brain has been brittle. It's rebelling against Orin and Gortash fiercely. I suspected that when we took Ketherick's stone, the brain would begin to break free. Those brain quakes confirm that my suspicion was correct. I do not know what happens now when it receives their orders, and I do not dare guess. You feel the Emperor's fear as if it were your own. An elder brain enslaved is one thing. An elder brain unleashed will be the end of everything. Beautiful, isn't it? The mighty Prince Orpheus, contained in submissive slumber. Come. You may as well sit a while, now that you are here. Your company isn't unwelcome. An accurate summary. I have found myself distracted of late. I'm haunted by memories. They are relentless. I can think of nothing. No one else. Indeed. Duke Stelmane. Or as I knew her, Berlin, when she was alive. You thought you were my first ally. Far from it. I have long sought the allyship of others. It is the only way to succeed. Though my relationship with Berlin was different from my relationship with you. I see that you are unable to let that go. But do not forget that I trusted you with my life, as you trusted me with yours. Manipulation or not, we need each other. My relationship with Berlin was similar in this regard, though 
less dramatic. In life, she was my business partner, back when we ran the Knights of the Shield. A difficult task for a Mind Flayer. Duke Stelmane trusted me, and the city trusted her. I conceived the plot, but Berlin took center stage. It was she who met with the merchants, politicians, and patriarchs. It was she who negotiated deals and signed off on agreements. Her rooms played host to the most important conversations in the city. Together, we brought order to chaos. At its height, everything that happened in that city went through the shield. Through us. I could not have done any of it without her. Just as I cannot do any of this without you. But now, she is gone. I appreciate your understanding. What I feel is deeper than superficial cures can reach. And not entirely unwelcome. Most people think that Mind Flayers are soulless husks who feel nothing. I am glad you are not most people. You would do well to be more like me. Now leave.